Hi everyone, it's me Leslie here with another video. Thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for subscribing. Today I'm doing a story time discussion to talk about how there are elegant ways to say things and not so elegant ways to say things. So recently I was out and about with my mom and we were enjoying the sunshine and fresh air. We were sitting on a bench next to another uh, person and my mom decided to strike up a conversation with the lady sitting next to us. And they started talking and after a short while, my mom asked, uh, I noticed an accent, where are you from? I'm a speech pathologist and I love accents and I'd love to hear about where you're from. And the lady said that she was from Puerto Rico. And my mom said, oh, um, I've heard a lot of uh, Spanish accents uh, from Puerto Rico, but Yours sounds different than what I'm used to. And the lady said, well, that's because I taught myself how to speak more quietly and softer because I believe that Puerto Ricans, when they talk, they sound like they're barking like dogs. And I'm bringing up this comment because I want to talk about how I was taken aback, but Mainly, I want to talk about how there are elegant ways to say things and less elegant ways to say things. And the lady that we were speaking to decided to take uh, the less elegant path when she could have easily just said, I like um, speaking in this way. The people that I was around in my family spoke this way and, and I really gravitated towards this way of speaking more than, than the other way that, that, um, that I was used to hearing out of the household. She could have said something in a different way that had nothing to do with, with totally um, criticizing others. And I'm bringing this up because when we talk about ourselves, when we critique others, when we critique situations, I too have had less than elegant ways to convey what I've wanted to say. But I'm here today to make it clear that we can all do better than this. We can all do better than the less elegant way of talking about less desirable situations, in our opinion. There's always a way, if we take just a moment to think about it, there's always a way to say things in a way that sounds classier, more elegant, more palatable, to the person that we're speaking to or to the person that, to the people that are listening to us speak. And so I'd like to remind myself and others that we don't have to take the less elegant way when it comes to describing things that perhaps we don't find desirable. We can actually choose elegance we can actually choose to take control of the things that we say and, and make it so that when people leave our presence, they're not left disgusted with the words that have come out of our mouth. And I challenge myself and I challenge whoever is listening out there to consider the way we say things to ourselves and to others. Challenge ourselves to be more elegant, to have more class, to think a little bit more before we speak, to not, to not take that lesser road, to take the better path, and that is dignity, respect for others, and elegance with our speech. And that's where I'd like to end this video today. Thank you all so much for listening and watching. And until next time, 
Bye.